Hi, my name is Travis Townsend, and today I'm going to talk about my setup for the podcast that I produce. Uh, this is just some of the basic equipment that you're going to need, microphones, mixer, um, USB interface, things like that, but by no means is this the only way to produce a podcast. You could use a phone. If you've got a, uh, an iPhone or a phone that records voice, you can use a digital voice recorder. Um, you could even use a USB mic like this one here. This is uh, like a $20 microphone. But, of course, you know the quality of this is not going to be something like the quality you're going to get out of a setup like this. You can use this. You can use your phone. However, you can get a, your voice or a conversation onto your computer so that you can upload it as an MP3, that would be fine. This is the Behringer. 1202FX, you can see right up here, it's got the XLR inputs, it's got the quarter inch inputs, you've got 12 inputs on this thing. This is a fantastic mixer. There's a, a lesser version, it's the um, Behringer uh, 802. The 802 is $60, this was $100. There are cheaper ones even still. You don't have to go with this one, it's fine. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter to me. Um, okay, so you got the mixer. You've got the U USB controller. Now this is a Behringer U control. It's a UCA202. This will run you about $30. What this is going to do is this will plug into your USB and with some RCA cables you can come off of this board into this and then into your computer. So now any sound that you've got coming into your board will then be able to get onto your computer. Now on the computer, I use Audacity. It's free. Check it out, audacity.com. Audacity will recognize your USB controller, and it's a very beautiful, easy thing. Okay, so now let's talk about microphones. A little bit ago I said you can use this. You're going to get crap quality from a crap microphone like this. Trust me, if you want any kind of quality, go with some Shure SM58s. This is an awesome microphone. I've also got a Sennheiser 8155. This is a fantastic vocal microphone as well. Then, you know, Alan, my, uh, my bass player in the band, will tell me he likes uh, Technica, and then you've got all these other people saying they like all the other stuff. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like to use, by all means, use it. If you can afford these Shure 58s, these are about 100 bucks each. Right now on Musician's Friend, you can get three of these a three pack of these microphones for $130. I checked it yesterday. That would be a great buy because if you're doing two people on a regular basis in your podcast and you want to add someone in, you're going to need three microphones. So right now I have two SM58s and one Sennheiser and I use this when someone wants to come in and do a guest spot on the, uh, on the podcast. Something I want to suggest you do not use. Do not use one of these. That's a microphone stand that goes on the table. And, and I'll tell you, there's a good reason why, is once you got this thing set up on your table, when you're doing this, or put your hands down, or if you're drinking a cup of coffee and you set it down, this bass transmits all that sound through this microphone and you're gonna pick it up on your podcast. Don't waste your time buying these. They look cute, they look fun, it looks, Cool when it's there and like, hey, I'm on the radio, don't use this. It's a piece of crap. I've got two of these. They're about 40 bucks each. These are the Pro Line. Buy the one with the boom so that you can set it down and have it out of your way when you're talking and you can move freely. You don't want the one that's directly in between you because then you're going to be limited where you can move and what you can do. If this thing is off to the side, like this, set up, You've got all this room to mess around and you just have to be conscious of where this is. I would buy the boom. It's about 40 bucks for this one. Gonna be about five bucks extra for this clip. Spend the money on it, you'll be happy you did. Now, one thing that I would suggest highly, this is a pop screen. This fastens directly onto this boom stand, directly in front of the mic, like that. Okay, if you don't have one of these, every sound you make will sound like a pop on your microphone. Buy these, they're about 15 bucks each. Okay, so let's recap what I've got. About 100 bucks for this mixer. You can buy a cheaper one with less inputs, but I would suggest at least 
three XLR inputs on what you're doing, unless you never plan on having three people. 100 bucks here. You got 30 bucks for the USB controller. About five bucks for an RCA cable. Headphones. This is a cheapy brand. If you can afford it, buy some noise canceling headphones. These were 20 bucks at Best Buy, but you're also going to need an adapter, a couple of adapters. First of all, you're going to need an eighth inch adapter to quarter inch so that you can plug this thing in and get a sound out from your board. Or you can buy one of these. This is eighth inch to three eighth inch out. This is the expensive version, which you'll probably pay about 25 or 30 bucks for. Or you can go to Radio Shack and buy this one for about eight dollars. Then you can plug three headphones and then you've got three headphones coming off of this headphone jack here and three people can hear everything that's being mixed into this board. Much better choice than spending so much more money on this. Okay, so you got about another 15 bucks on adapters. Like I said, 20 bucks for the headphones, 40 bucks for the mic stand, $15 for this and you can multiply the mic stand in this by two obviously you need two of them if you have two people microphones Sennheiser right now today's date is the 27th 28th of July 2010 today you can find three of these for 130 bucks on musicians friends awesome deal um, you're gonna need some XLR cables these are six foot cables that I've got if you can afford extra cables, buy extra cables. Get yourself about three or four cables, even if you only need two, because these things are fickle. And sometimes they have shorts, and if you use them a lot, they're going to, uh, you're going to need extra ones just laying around. Trust me. If you can get three footers, get three footers. If you can afford 15 footers or, or even more, buy them. Whatever you can afford. Just start off small and you can add stuff later. If you can't afford the pop screens, by the way, you can get those foam wind, uh, wind, windscreen things that you put on there. I personally didn't like them, but they're better than nothing and it will reduce some of the popping. That pretty much explains everything that you're going to need to get it started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up and just kind of show you how everything connects and how it looks. All right, so basically I've got everything set up. I've got the mic stands set up on the sides with the mics and the pop screens and the cables running into the board. I have the headphones running into the adapter into the phones here. And I've got the RCA cables running out and into the controller, which would then be plugged into the computer's USB. I'm going to get a close-up of this mixing board here. You can see the XLR inputs there, and they've got matching quarter inch directly under. I've got four XLR inputs, then I've got additional quarter inch inputs directly under where that phone's jack is going in. On this side, you've got the CD, you've got uh, tape, the control room out, uh, some effects and sliders, and then of course you've got your mixer so that you can adjust there's the uh, Behringer U controller. Okay, it's also got an optical out. You can plug phones directly into that to monitor input output. Uh, that's kind of a cool thing. Like I said, these are kind of cheapy. After a while, they start hurting your ears. Your ears get hot. If you can get some noise canceling earphones, that would be perfect. Much better for you. Microphone and the pop screen highly recommend that pop screen trust me I've done uh, lots of podcasts without it and I'd wish that I had had it so get yourself a pop screen you don't want it to be directly against the table the mic stand because then you'll pick up any noise from the table so I hope this helps and I look forward to uh, no I don't I don't look forward to hearing your podcast I won't listen to it I'm sorry I don't have time for that stuff but enjoy anyway